Imagine a fighter jet not built for parades or billion-dollar budgets, but to vanish under radar, take off from highways, and strike with almost no warning. That's Sweden's Gripen EF. Once called the affordable fighter or underdog, the latest engine upgrade has changed everything. Even superpowers are starting to take notice. Sweden never had massive budgets like the US or Russia, so engineers focused on survival and flexibility. Early Gripens could operate from 800-meter roads, be refueled by a handful of conscripts, and survive chaos. That DNA still drives the Gripen EF. Now, with upgraded engines and advanced electronic warfare, this modest-looking jet could quietly shift the balance of air power. Think about a cockpit designed around the pilot, a hub where digital systems and human intuition merge. Picture weapons ranging from meteor long-range missiles to precision anti-ship systems. Now, the heart of it all, the engine. The Gripen CD ran on the older F-404, solid but dated. Gripen E upgraded to the F-414G, borrowed from U.S. Navy Super Hornets, giving more thrust, better fuel efficiency, and future-proofing. But defense forums are buzzing about what's next, a potential new engine quietly in development in Sweden. Reports suggest over 22,000 pounds of thrust, true supercruise, supersonic flight without afterburner, longer endurance, and even hybrid electric potential. Why does this matter? Thrust equals options, faster climbs, tighter maneuvers, heavier payloads, and short runway takeoffs. Supercruise lets the jet fly supersonic without burning fuel or lighting up radars, making it stealthier and cheaper to operate. Endurance extends patrol range, redeployment speed, and territorial coverage in crises. A jet designed to be cost-effective and rugged could suddenly rival elite stealth fighters. For smaller air forces, the Gripen EF might deliver F-35 level performance at a fraction of the cost, and that has real geopolitical ripple effects. Take Brazil. Buying Gripens isn't just a purchase, it's building a domestic aerospace industry. Local production creates engineers, supply chains, and long-term capability. Other countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Eastern Europe are watching. At around $60 million per jet with low operating costs, the Gripen EF is a tempting alternative to expensive F-35s or Su-57s. Sweden's philosophy is survival and flexibility. Operate from highways, refuel fast, and spread assets so a first strike can't wipe them out. A higher thrust, fuel-efficient engine multiplies survivability allowing short takeoffs, longer patrols, and reduced radar infrared signatures. It's not stealth in the F-35 sense, but smart design, electronic warfare, and supercruise make it stealthy enough for many nations needing credible air defense. Buying a Gripen is buying an upgradable, flexible defense toolkit, not just a plane. NATO planners and military think tanks are calling it the Nordic model of warfare. Mid-sized nations like Canada or Australia could diversify fleets, mixing a few stealth heavies with agile Gripens for daily patrols. This spreads risk, complicates targeting, and stretches defense budgets further. A fighter is more than a machine. It's a symbol of sovereignty and technological competence. Modern, high-performance Gripens signal independence, tilt global arms markets, and shift strategic alliances. If the EF engine upgrade is real, smaller air forces could project credible power without spending $100 million per plane. Launch from roads, supercruise across borders, strike with long-range missiles, and vanish. In crises, from the Baltic to the Pacific, a dispersed Gripen fleet could deny control of the air, using mobility, data links, and high-thrust engines to outmaneuver bigger powers. This is Sweden's philosophy in action, independent, adaptable, and quietly game-changing. Sometimes the biggest story in military tech isn't flashy, it's the quiet outlier. 
The Gripen EF's rumored new engine, higher thrust, super cruise, fuel efficiency, and hybrid potential could let an underdog rewrite the rules. This isn't just speed. Longer endurance, heavier payloads, short strip takeoffs, and lower radar IR signatures make the jet a flexible, survivable fighter. Combine that with advanced electronic warfare and distributed operations, and smaller nations can punch above their weight without relying on superpowers. Sweden's approach proves brains can beat brawn. Modular, adaptable, cost-effective design, plus an open upgrade path, lets mid-sized air forces compete strategically. The Gripen EF isn't just a plane. It's a quiet revolution in air combat. Thanks for flying with Skyjet Wings! If you love this deep dive into the Gripen EF and want more cutting-edge aviation insights, hit that like button, share with fellow aviation enthusiasts, and subscribe so you never miss our next exploration of the jets, engines, and tech shaping the skies. Stay sharp, stay curious, and keep soaring with us!